And five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to his thing. I'm Kevin Stay. She's the Chick Angel. Welcome to another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Bangers, bangers. All for 23. Welcome to the podcast episode. You all. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for watching. If you haven't joined the Patreon and became a faithful member, remember that? Faithful member, yes. faithful, faithful member. We need to bring that back. Faithful member of the of the Patreon, please join us. We had a full on Carly Russell bonus episode. You probably saw a snippet of it, maybe even all of it. But we talked about other stuff as we often do. You help support the pod. You help support other creators. Um, you bought this pink sauce. <laughs> yeah, uh, Angel, any church announcements? Uh, you know, Marks and I on tour will be in Indianapolis on Friday. Friday, uh, what day though? I'm about to say okay. Friday, June, th- July the 21st. There we go. That's the in the past bas- now. This episode's coming out Wednesday the 26th. Shut up. <laughs> That's what I was we will say. be <laughs> in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Uh, we're sold out, so can't come see us there. But we'll be in Philadelphia, and they just put us in a bigger room because hey! Hey, we had already basically sold out. And they were like, oh, we can get more money out of y'all. So get tickets to see us in Washington, D.C. There period. you go. We're shooting this way early, and that's why what if, if something crazy has happened on the Internet this week, we'll talk about it on the bonus episode because I'm in Mexico right now. As you listen to this, and Angel's Mexico, he's in Angel's, Mexico being the video vixen that he is. Angel's got a uh, uh, one margarita music video shoot with Beyonce and yes, Madonna. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Madonna, Beyonce, and Flyana Boss because you want to co- cover all uh, genres. All right, now many many weeks ago, we talked about the Pink Sauce episode. I mean, the Pink Sauce girl. Let me see. Yeah, you know, remember how far along ago that was, Angel? Oh my gosh! I was yes, it was July of 2022. Mm, it was July uh, 2022. Yeah, because I was in Chicago. There you go, and it's July 2023. And Angel believed in that young black woman. Angel went down to Walmart. Was it? Yeah, it was at Walmart. Walmart and got the pink sauce, and we will taste it right now Damn. because. This is an evergreen episode, and uh, we actually were going to do this on the bonus, but we said, you know what? Let's give it to everybody. Let's give it to all faithful the members and 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 first time attendees and people who 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 been to the church. They just ain't join, yeah. Or they come sometimes. They just ain't tithing. We'll put it like that. You just ain't tithing. Just ain't tithing. <laughs> pink, now, pink saw. Have you tasted it? No, uh-uh. I've waited for you guys. I was trying to be like a real friend and have an experience Ooh. together. Here you go, Josh. Sorry, I gave you so much. Oh, boy. I can't. Here you go, Josh. You have to eat it all. Thank you, Angel. No, I don't. And it says Best Buy, uh, August 12th, 2024, oh. which lets me know that they put a lot of preservatives in here, unlike her original. <laughs> show the camera. To show, put it on her single, Josh. It smells like ranch. It smells just like ranch. It's what? Yeah. Oh, hold on, Angel. It smells just like ranch. So I'm going to read the back. Y'all see it? Here's the TikTok. The TikTok sauce. Um, it says, and she has that on there. This is far from ordinary. From TikTok to table, shock your taste buds with flavor and thrill. Taste, taste, chef, pe- was it pies, peas? Uh-huh, her. Famous sweet and tangy sauce made with vibrant, uh, made vibrant with dragon fruit and spices. Are you ready to try the pink sauce that became an overnight internet sensation? We are today. Is it pink? I was supposed to shake it. <laughs> it kind of looks like fry sauce. It it kind of looks like like raisin cane sauce a little bit. Uh-huh. It smells like pure ranch. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know what one of the flavors. Okay, we're tasting it. Y'all ready? Uh-huh. Josh, Josh, what are you I'm doing? I'm scared. You're looking at me. <laughs> Three, two. Okay, here we go. Wham. That's ranch. There's ranch with a little with a little twang to it. There's like, like I don't know if it's cayenne. Josh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> there's cayenne in it. It tastes like there's. The, I definitely get the cayenne. The you could actually see it. Mm-hmm. There's Peppery. Like, there's like a honey. It's like in it. And I think there's dill. 
I got it a hint tastes of dill. like. Yeah, there's dill. I can see it now. I'm getting notes of. <laughs> it it tastes like a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos fell into a vat of ranch. It tastes like there's corn syrup in there too, though. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all don't like me saying cayenne. <laughs> it tastes. Said. It's got Did cayenne. I say cayenne. It's it's well, ranch with cayenne. Yeah. Oh, cayenne. Mm -hmm. It tastes like cayenne? Cool Ranch Doritos plus bad, cayenne pepper cayenne. plus ranch. If there was a spicy Cool <laughs> Ranch, cayenne. that's what this that's would what taste like. Was. Spicy Cool Ranch. But there's a sweet. That kick holds to it. Yeah, and I'm. Let me see what kind of sweetener it is. My mouth is watering. Can you can you throw me another water? No, can we gotta we gotta no we gotta sit in this until we're done with the segment. I think it's not great by itself, but oh, I think I if this was the, on a burger. The sweetener could just be the dragon fruit, though, low key. Oh, there Coconut we go. Coconut cream. Oh, no, sugar. Just sugar. But oh. At least it's better than, I thought it was going to be like corn syrup. I think if this was on a burger, you would not be making this face. I think because it's by itself, because I also, I personally don't like mayonnaise by itself at all, or mayo by itself. Put Canola it on a burger. Oil, I like Coconut it. cream. Okay. Distilled um, white vinegar. That's that twang. This is this would be okay. This would be good on a burger if you, you were doing like a spicy ranch flavor burger. Literally Chipotle. Can you talk to your water, Josh? Yeah, Kevin. We're almost done. Hold on, man. Oh, you don't need it. We're I bonding. Do, I do need it. We're bonding. <laughs> I need. So I need electrify this. One more. Drink some drink. <laughs> I don't know. It's I don't not know. bad. Yeah, it's, it's not, not bad. good. It's not good. <laughs> you no, don't no, like no. I'm not gonna bash the product. It's yeah. I, I'm not support, bashing it. He don't support. Black if you had this, with I, some, he didn't want with, me to buy it. You can you can <laughs> knock back like nine or twelve Joshua, carrots please, with the water. The water. Please, Kev, we're not done liquor. talking about it. You need I the need, fresh I, notes. Kevin, no, you don't. I do, please. Kevin, stop. Why are you? I'm doing swallowing this? a lot. You didn't already drag this black woman once. I before. didn't drag her. <laughs> don't do it again. Listen, it's so good. I like it. Watch me drink so much. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now put it in your puss. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. But I also like spicy food. Uh, it's not like, oh, give me more of this. But if a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> if, if this was on a burger, I wouldn't ask for more on the side. I right. would be content with the little brush they put on the bun. Exactly. I wouldn't be like, get this mess off of it. But I also wouldn't be like. Give me extra to dip into it. Kev, I'll get you water. I got you. It's the deal that I don't like inside of it, but the rest of it is cool. You want pamplemousse? Pamplemousse! And it's not that I dislike deal. It's just I'm only used to dealing with deal when it comes to seafood. Yeah. Dealing with deal. Dealing with deal. Um... Well, congratulations to her. Y'all said she couldn't do it, but she did it, period. Oh, yeah, I, I think what, it I is I didn't see me. what the spice was, though. Was there cayenne in there? Let me see. I can read it. Y'all see how I did do it? I, I was going to say, Angel, I can read it. Y'all see, to... see how I did it? I said, uh, no, I can see it just fine. Uh, it's Black pepper? Spices. Oh, no. Okay. Well. Yeah, I don't see it. Good White good. wine vinegar. I'll taste that. It's the spices. Or don't tell me what it is. Colored with titanium dioxide. <laughs> I saw they had some malodextrin. That's that. Uh, that's that preservative. Malodextrin be in everything. That's that preservative. <laughs> mm hmm Preserved with sodium, benz benzoate, oh, potassium sorbate, citric acid, and calcium. Try it for yourself. Listen. Sodium. This is a six out of ten. It tastes like spicy Dorito mix. Uh, these are just my taste buds. To me, it's not something I enjoy, but I'm very proud of this woman. I'm very happy for her. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Kev, that on a chicken sando. Taste six it however you want. It's pretty good, Kevin. Hey. So, yeah, six is passing. Yeah. These get yeah. these get degrees. Put it on a burger, wings, celery. Taste it for yourself. Prophet said throw some this these on This is just me. There. These are my taste buds. Personally, to me. For you, may like it. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Six out of ten ain't bad. There's a lot of things I eat that are six out Absolutely. of ten. Absolutely. But I, I, when I be hungry, I'll be like, give me that six out of ten. When I eat, make a lot of food at home that's like healthy, it'd be six out of ten. I eat Throw a little bit of that, it might be seven out of ten. Yes. Yes. All right. What is that bar? It's a... Um, you want it? Oh, no. I don't like this. I love it. All right. So... 
<laughs> Friend of the pod, Jenkins and Jones have this beast bracket, and it's just so silly and so funny. Friend of and the basically, pod. it's how what animals would fare best in a fight. Okay, Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna read, and we're gonna do this just like we did our '90s bracket because we got no trending topics. We this is our third episode we shot this week. Nothing else has happened. Okay. Yes, it has. There, and we haven't talked about it. I released my one margarita video. Have y'all watched it? We talked about that it was going to air, but nobody has seen it. Oh snap! That did happen in yeah. the in the current timeline. Yeah. I thought we talked about it because it was coming out, and I watched it. But we didn't. Y'all hadn't seen it because you were about to play. You were like, "It's out," and I was like, "No, no. yeah, it comes out tomorrow." So. Well, let's talk about it before we do the beast bracket. First off, let me say, my line was cut. And placed in the end. So I was kind of upset. I'm sorry. I was just like, I mean, you need to leave. An off camera line made it. Uh, and then I made the credit. So I'm glad we're striking because I will be talking to my Sarah about it. <laughs> no, music no. productions are, are fine though. Music I know, I know. No. Let me tell you what. You're be doing music. On first watch, let me, let me tell you how crazy this. To sit here and watch Angel make that song up. Off the top of her head. Right here. Lyrics were just floating around in your head. In my mm -hmm. damn head. Right? Yeah. Put it in. Just grabbing. Grabbing at words. And I'm literally. I was. So because I watched your video so many times. This is a true story. Mm -hmm. YouTube started serving me all the other. My voice. All the like clips. You know what you missed out on? You should have put the lyric video up early. Somebody beat you she to it. Up. Got a dog a million views. Somebody's YouTube channel put the yeah, lyrics I'm up. We're about to put it up because the lyrics, are, the no, lyrics just, are wrong. Yeah, don't worry. They ain't gonna stop your no, bag. But I was just like about to rip that content ID and all. Yeah, three take it off and get it. that money. Oh no, no, that we already got that money. Okay, cool. No. Oh, then don't matter. Let them keep playing it. Uh, <laughs> Run it up to watch that clip where you did it the first time without no music, and then the next video served me was you doing it when the people had added the music, and then to go back and watch the video and be like. This has been what? What is the timeline on this? This, uh, let's see here. May is when that happened because I put the clip up the day after, no, the day that our episode aired. Same day? I put it up the same day because I knew I was trying to take a page out of Kevin Frederick's book. Hurry up we and do it. We were just talking about that too. His book, Hurry Up and Do That Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's his book. Great title. A voice narration. Great title. Like, I, I'm saying. saying I can't Writing it, it down. I know you'll never use it. Right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> trademark. <take> <laughs> trademark. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you'll never use it. And so I said, once I realized, I went back to watch it, and I saw the comments on the episode, and I was like, yeah, this is fire. So I hurried up and put it up. And I knew somebody would put a beat behind it, because that's what people do. Did you? Absolutely. There's a whole side of TikTok that just does that. I thought, you know, what's the the person who does it all the time on Instagram that was just known Sway for Sway the remix guy. Yeah, I knew somebody was going to do something to Dang. it. Dang. So when those two, Carl and Steve, did it, I was like, great. But I also thought that was the end of it. Mm. It was them who was like, hey, what about making this into another song? Into a real song. Yep. And so... I was like, oh, God, I don't want to be taken advantage of. I don't know these people. I don't know the music industry like oh, that. Oh, you were you were unsure. Very unsure. So what made you do it anyway? So I sat there. Your book. Hurry up, Same hurry book? Up to do that shit. Well, no, and I sat and thought about it, and I said, okay, Angel, write the verse now before you even talk to them. Mm -hmm. And then I waited a day, and then I hit them up, and I said, let's talk over Zoom. Their energy was good. We figured out what the split would be if we did the song. Mm. And they sent me the music. I recorded the rest of the song in my house, in my bedroom. And then from there, it really blew up. The 2520s really took the song mm. over. They'll do it. They were the ones. Most black people didn't know that there was a full song. Yeah. They're the ones streaming the full song. We had over 7 million streams. 7 million streams. Amen. The song did not get released until May 31st. We're not at the end of July. We're not out of July yet. It hasn't been a full two months. Can you pause? And who wouldn't serve a God like this? Come on, there somebody. Are, and I mean legit artists in the sense of music was their desire and something they choose to try and achieve. Mm -hmm. Right? Every day they're trying to make it. And I don't mean that to, to lower what you are. 
But you music wasn't like I'm gonna wake up and make music. Right. Who ain't came close to seven million streams on any song they've ever released? Yes. You have seven million streams on what we in act we call this a throwaway line. This was just a throwaway joke. Like became a song that's been streamed seven million times. And that's just on Spotify, right? Or is that on, just on Spotify? Just on Spotify, itself. only seven million? Only seven million. It's on six different Spotify editorial playlists. People usually and that's a hate. hard thing. Joshi was telling us before. That's not either you know somebody, it's huge, or you're paying somebody. And or it's al- or it's algorithm based, which or is completely out of anybody's control. Chat GPT put it in. There you go. We don't like them though. Mm-mm. Not down. only that. They're bad. Listen, y'all, we are in the middle of the summer and we are all trying to find ways to eat good. We trying to keep our summer snatch going on. That's why I'm so excited to tell you all about Factor, America's number one ready to eat meal kit. It can help you fuel up fast and they have flavorful, nutritious, ready to eat meals delivered right to your doorstep. You'll save time, you'll eat well, and you'll stay on track reaching your goals. Now, y'all know me and Marcus, we're on tour right now. And we've been traveling a lot. So when I come home, I just really don't have it in me to be sitting there chopping up a bunch of stuff, doing a bunch of meal prepping and cleaning up a bunch of stuff. Well, that is why I love Factor. You're still getting all the flavor and the nutritional quality that you want. And it's fresh. It's never frozen. Right. And the meals, they come together in just about two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. And then you're back outside, okay, to soak up all the warm weather. Round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45 plus add-ons, including breakfast items like delicious apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and egg, egg uh, bacon and cheddar egg bites, and, and potatoes, bacon and egg breakfast skillet, or for an easy wellness boost, try refreshing beverage options like cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. I really do love it. The food tastes really good. And right now, time is so of it for the essence for me. Like, I really need to save all the time that I have possible. So I don't have the time to, like, just cook a meal. But having a meal that is nutritious, that tastes good, that is together that fast is priceless. With Factor, you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice. They offset 100% of their delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for their um, their production sites and offices, and feature sustainable source seafood in their meals. This July, get Factor Enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meal, enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door, just ready in two minutes, no prep, no mess. Hit a factormeals.com slash SK50 and use code SK50 to get 50% off. That's code SK50 at factormeals.com slash SK50 to get 50% off. Now back to the show. So, so many things that happened. Uh, a television show, can't say which one, is doing a sync license to put it in Tell us another scene. Also, show. that is another stream of income that musicians like strive to get very good money from what I hear. And we are there. And uh, not only that, I'm now signed to a record label. That is not something I saw happening. This is in like less than 60 days. Less than 60 days. I've been signed to a record label. I have been interviewed by big, big. Rolling Stone, wasn't it? You and Rolling Stone? Did Rolling Stones, did New York Times, just did another one today. Um, So the music video was something that uh, we have been wanting to do. I wanted to still feel like me. Um, And a lot of people still hadn't attached my voice to the song. And I was just so happy that I was able to have so many of my friends be a part of it. Um, Because I still feel like it's on, I still feel like the song is very on brand for myself. And I, I said to myself when I started down this path, I was going to go through any door the Lord opened for me. Mm. Yeah, come because on. Because I was getting, I was having an identity crisis about it. Identity crisis? I was. Why? Because I was like, wait, I, I'm not a rap. Like these other, these girls are rappers. I'm not. What a would a white man do? Nigga, that's why I'm through these that's doors. What you, what, a white man would be like, what, I've been meaning to do this my whole life. This yeah. is all I ever wanted to do. I was like, what is that supposed? I was like, who am I? I like, you know, these <laughs> girls be rapping. And I, like, I'm a mommy. I'm 43. These girls are 20. The girls that we talk about now, they're 20 something. You mm-hmm. know, Cardi B is on the older end of these women now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
oh god people are gonna be like what is this mama doing up here Interesting. had a whole identity crisis got really nervous still about being taken advantage of i luckily even think about it like it one time it had me in tears because I was really like, this is too much. Like we were having meetings with record labels all the time while I was killing them meetings because the <laughs> bitch shows up, right? <laughs> Afterwards, I was like, what is going on? I don't understand. <laughs> what, Lord? But I had faith that God was, you know, I have the right people. Um, I had people that were not about to let nobody take advantage of me. Mm -hmm. You'll be taking advantage of people if somebody's getting taken advantage come of. Come on. And then I also had my husband championing this. And yes. he was like, babe, just, you know, who cares? You 43. Yeah. Get out there and talk about putting it in your puss. Come on, get it, <laughs> go. Um, and I had faith that, you know, as I saw the song, I saw the worst in the song. And I knew that it would find the right home. I said, I'm not about to fall for these, the smoke and mirrors, you, you know, telling me all these good things about myself. I know I'm the shit. I know I did something that was very difficult to pull off very easy. You're an industry plant though. Stop <laughs> it. Call it what you want. <laughs> That's what they gonna say. Listen, the only mistake I think you made in all of this, and you're my friend, so I gotta be honest, you didn't go with pebbles. You would have had a rap for sitting We tried. Right she, was, she passed on the song. She said, this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Pebbles would have had, and I'm talking about not a new rap for a 94. <laughs> no, passed on the song. I even was getting like feeling some type of way because people kept trying to pin me against the, the, rap, the, the preacher lady. With, I think you handled that amazing, by the way. No, oh, thank you. I love how you didn't let that become... The narrative, um, the story. Yeah, because it really wasn't that. And, right. and you could have easily got dragged into that and stuff. And people kind of can can do that. People still do. They're like, so are you going to give her credit? Are you going to give her money? I have given this woman credit for inspiring what I did. Shut up about everything else that you don't know nothing about. Shut it up. I'm, I'm agreeing with you silently. Because when... When I go too hard on white women, you and Josh always be like, all right, no, you went no. too far. But like, and me and her have a very cordial rapport. So it's not like this. I, I don't like when people try to cause a rift. That probably bothered me more than anything. I was like, ooh, stop. Yeah. And I was like, it, why are you, what dog do you have in a fight right. that's not happening? Right. <laughs> So anyways, the music video was just a culmination of a lot of stuff. I can't tell y'all anything else that's happening, but know that one margarita is not done. You shouldn't end this until you are selling a margarita mix and your own tequila that's in the shape of a braid. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, one it margarita have, is not done. It should be braids and then a twist out. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of like the packing issues. Mm-hmm. Black women will be like, they give me that nigga margarita mix. Come on. You had nigga meat mix, nigga Rita mix. It's the best. I actually made a video. I ain't posted it yet, but there was a margarita that had chicken and waffles on the side. And my first line was like, this ain't the one margarita angel was talking about. However, if, if uh, then people had broke their relationship with, with Diddy, Diablo or something, Dialio, mm -hmm. whoever was the distributor behind Ciroc and De Leon, sneak in. Say, listen, I don't know nothing about no Diddy, <laughs> but y'all get this one margarita mix with the tequila. Hit up Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I already got my tequila company that get I Get like. your tequila company. Get your mix. Yeah. Put it in there. They sell some mixers. condoms with it. They make it. mixers, and it's really good. Uh -huh. Sell some lube. So when you go to five margaritas and you're taking it up his butt, but it come with the lube, condom, margarita mix. Bring your own tequila. Buy Angel's tequila. It's the whole margarita family. You can take care of the whole night. Get the Lord. sex stuff in there. Dildos. Boom. He's getting pegged. Lube. Condom. Pegged. Boom. Yeah, that's how the fifth margarita is. He's I'm getting gonna put pegged. put it in your bum. You didn't know that he was getting pegged? I I mean, I never put the the name to the thought. Yeah. I'm going to put Lord it in Jesus. your bum. After five margaritas, she it. finds her strength. She's doing the sexy now. Listen, that's why I said that. town. I'm going strap town. Oh, my God. When I saw, I, we talked about it. Ah. But, you know, yeah, that's what it's about. It's about the sexual freedom. I also so love how you ended the video when you was like, actually, I'm going to sleep. And you had a bonnet on. That was a shout out to black women. Because that's really what's going to happen. Your wife is going to sleep. She's talking all that trash. Unfortunately. On the way home from brunch. And she's like, you should have been there. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I'm in the car. 
You gotta get it in. So, anyways, please uh, watch the video. Shout out to my beautiful, amazing friends, Kevin Fredericks and Joshi Gons. They were in the video. The Just, whole squad was there. A, a, a lot of the squad. Not yeah, familiar. But, Mel yeah. and Greg and Liz. They were. Liz was in there, even though I don't see her in the. I know she's in the footage, but you gotta like know exactly where she yeah, is. Yeah, because we footage. was all dancing. Yeah, we was dancing at the party. Josh was got his little two step on. Y'all see a little step, little step, little step. I said that's why black women love him. That walk that little two step, get your head down. Little two step, get your head. Little bucket hat, little bucket hat, baby. Yeah, yeah, he did. And Angel had amazing tacos too on the set. You know, I'm gonna feed my people. Oh, the chicken was notable. Oh my god, I took a bite. I said, "This is juicy." It was good. I liked it. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Angel Wings. Thank you, Stage Crew, for. It's, uh, like just even being into the insanity that is Angel. Uh, people are like, you just really made that up. I make up songs all the time. His name is Kev on stage. He tells jokes. He loves black love. Wow, what a throwback. Support black women. His name is Kev on stage. You better harmonize and with that. And that's the song Kev. that inspired One Margarita. <laughs> we know. did that all tour. That was two After years ago. After that, Angel did the stomp. As a matter of fact, somebody made that video. Mm. You do the stomp bum, and bum, they put bum, the thing. Bum, bum. Yeah. Man, this is what why that one didn't blow up? Isn't it crazy? That was two years I, ago. Because I didn't release it. And I did actually work on the track. I'm not gonna say but I was confused. Music you be want, confused. You wanted to go solo, is what it really was. <laughs> All this time, I was like, man, album, y'all, album. And then y'all was like, nah, man, nah. And then you was like, solo, solo. How you gonna Beyonce before we even do Destiny's Child? <laughs> I hate you. I saw Beyonce in concert, but I hate you. Oh! <laughs> How was that? <laughs> she every time I've seen her, I have left inspired because her her stage show. Mm -hmm. You can tell she's like, I'm about to kill y'all, but you tell us because we ain't been. She ain't come to the West yet. Yeah, she ain't she came was in to Kentucky the West. when you seen her, uh -huh, right? I saw her in Louisville, Kentucky. Shout out to all the people Louisville. who stopped me, talked to me, took pictures with me. It's lovely to meet you. Uh, there was people who asked about y'all as well while I was there. Anywho, anyway, this, I, the way I would encapsulate this evening, it was about vocals and connecting with the audience. Mm. Ooh. That, and I've seen Beyonce live and in concert, I want to say at least five times, mm. maybe six. And then I've bought every single last one of when she used to release the DVD of the, of her tours. I've bought all of those. Mm. So I have studied the way this woman performs. I would say there's definitely been a surgery or an injury. She's toned back on the dancing? I mean, dialed it all the way. She's still dancing. I heard she like broke her foot or something. That's what, like this is, Beyonce has never had people help her down the steps when she's dancing. Almost every time she went down the steps, somebody had her hand. But they worked into the show? Yeah, like she was still sexy, killing it, performing. But like, I was like, you know, Beyonce will run down some steps. She, she was giving us... Tina Turner inspired performances, mm -hmm. all of the performances before this tour renaissance, but what she couldn't do in physical movement, she gave us in vocals. Mm. That woman sang down. The mic was hot. Mm. And she also, I know most people probably were thinking it was just going to be renaissance songs. And y'all already know this. Y'all should already know what the, like the songs are. Saying. The whole show was on online the first day when she was Pretty in much. like switzerland or wherever i feel like the song selections were for her true friend fans excuse mm -hmm. me i was like uh-huh i see all your little young white folk not knowing this song <laughs> that's, uh -huh. a, that's number seven on that album that's yes. a deep cut i care i know you don't care too much she started off with that she opened for herself that's crazy like literally she did a set that was way more like toned down and almost felt like a like you a lounge it felt so intimate the background singers were barely moving there was no dancers on the stage dang and wow. then she finished that in the renaissance tour show started i'm gonna open the act and the headliner that's what that's, i'm saying that's big o's so she was great Massive. I, I want her to get a vegas residency i think she'll eventually usher go there. and bruno mars i don't I don't remember Vegas residencies being something to be proud of for a while. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't know if Britney Spears got one or Celine Dion, but somewhere along the way, it used, used to be for older artists. Like once yeah. you've done everything you could do. Right before you go out to pasture to get shot. Yeah. Wow. 
Or you're Donnie and Marie Osmond, and you're just like, nigga, we've been in Vegas for 38 years. Yeah. I don't even know how to get anywhere else. <laughs> I don't know how to get it's, out of here. But now Adele is there. Usher's revitalized his career, and I don't even think he. I don't. I don't mean revitalized like it wasn't going down, but his Vegas residency is one of the best shows He's I've ever seen. Festival shows again. Yes. Like, yeah. Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack was a great time. Yes. Beyonce tone it down. Sit up in that Vegas. Do 50 shows. I went to Vegas last week. And this orb is there now. The sphere. Yeah, the I saw sphere. the video of it. Been to, I go to Vegas all the time. Never remember seeing this thing be built. Right. At all. So people start putting video. I was like, nigga, what? This is this like a space? This thing is humongous. Mm -hmm. Guess who's opening? 25 shows. YouTube. Wow. It's because all those downloads that they force upon us. <laughs> Literally the first thing that I thought I'll of. I'll never let that go. They are like, we going to open this show with 25 shows. The amount of money they going to get is Wait, the stupid. Sphere is a performance center? Yes. Yeah, you can go. I thought inside, it was just a massive waste of money that they Josh, put a projector inside, on. it's full of LED screens as well. Oh, I'm So in. they're like, you're going to do 360 degree immersive concerts what are these shows? with That's all these amazing. LED shows. That's I would want to see amazing. you too. But if Beyonce performed there, I oh. pull up. Sick. I'd be sick with it. Yeah, I think the the Vegas residencies, I think, became something that made sense. People are traveling out to see Usher. He don't have to go nowhere. The set don't have to be rebuilt. So that's less that's less money or expenses that he has to spend. It's the best as a performer. It's the yeah. best of everything. And yeah. taking out the two big, the two biggest problem, the biggest one mm -hmm. is travel. Come on. And the second biggest one is production. It's production. They it's, set the stage up. The stage is up. It stayed away. And his it room away. comes with it every night. Josh, uh, George Wallace had a Vegas residency for like, I don't know, 50, 50 years. He performed one time at 10 o'clock every night. He stayed in a penthouse at the hotel he performed at. Jesus. He said, I stayed in my room all day watching TV and movies, came down, did a show at 10 o'clock for hour, hour 15, went back to my room, was off work by 11.30. Catering covered, all the room you service you want. You would be the size of a house. Angel, I would be <laughs> I would be sitting in both of these seats yeah. simultaneously. I saw Sean Stockman in the Burbank airport one time. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, man, love your work, because you know I'd be saying that. He was like, man, the Vegas residency is the best thing. They had a residency at the time. He was like, I leave from home in L.A. on Thursday morning. I come back Sunday morning, perform Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Now, it's a 45 that, minute that's flight. Crazy. You, that's you a dream. That, Kevin, Angel, are you ready? I would perform 98 years old. <laughs> the thing about 97 is, yeah. you don't even know if you pee the poop. <laughs> yeah, I All could right. definitely. 48 see. minutes left. So I'm going to take my butt. I might move to Vegas. Give me that residency. Put me up at the win. I can see you definitely loving that. What? And just and doing the same set every night. You come, same jokes <laughs> every night. The ticket price was the same. What? The jokes is gonna be the same. Y'all shouldn't have came back. It ain't changing <laughs> till three years. That's yeah. That's that's crazy. That is utterly crazy. That does so. I think I I think while at one point in time, like you said, it was not a thing. It was like you saying you were retiring forever yes. when you did a Vegas show. Yes, I think like somebody and you were washed. Yeah, that it was like you couldn't ha you couldn't make it on the road, so you needed mm -hmm. the tourism of Vegas to be what got people in the seats. Yep. But now people are willing; they'll get on the plane and be like, "I'm Vegas. coming to." See I cannot wait to see Usher, but I want to have the seats where he comes to sing to the people. I almost took Melissa for her birthday, but I was like, "I don't need that." You it would you should have just no. Nah, I would have gone if he sang to Melissa. I would have milked the moment forever. But I could not get, I had a show that night. Oh, you couldn't go. I get what I you're saying. I was trying to find that ticket. I would have been like, sing to her. <laughs> get, get, get her. I need it for the my press wife. of one margarita. He'd been like, there goes my, give me one margarita. <laughs> there goes my margarita. Oh, girl, you better dream sing them notes. with you. You better sing them notes, friend. You know what my favorite Usher song is? I'm going to sing it and then we're going to do this bracket because... Okay. We're we're doing an Evergreen video today. I, this is my fourth podcast. Uh, this is my favorite Usher song. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. Ooh, I got T. Oh, okay. So this two is my favorite too. Usher song. I'm not gonna sing it all, but I, I freaking love this song. I'm not getting the T in the thing. Oh no, no no! After after after. You about to get it right now? Oh, in the group chat. This nigga Usher did not need to do all this. Woo! He didn't that do song. this on the on the thing. That song is beautiful. I'm hoping that this ain't too hard to believe 
sing, Kevin. Ooh, he didn't do it for her. He didn't sing it. Baby, I'm the only one you need. Eat. In and out of state. Sing Usher Raymond. No matter how far I go. The bridge on this song is stupid. His voice, oh God, his voice gives me chills. It's, it's amazing. so beautiful. I think you and him are the same age. And finally now I No, he might be 45. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I think he's a little older than me, not much. 44. Yeah, just a year. Humbly by my head. No matter how far I go. Since you came along, you right. Oh, 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 Never change. I'm your man. Yo, come on. Oh, uh, yo. All right. Beast bracket. Here are the rules. There's a thousand pound catch weight. There's weight classes in all combat sports, and this is no different. Levels the playing field some. For instance, a wolf has no chance versus a lion one on one. But if we have 10 100 pound wolves versus four 250 pound lions, now we got ourselves a fight. Here's the beast bracket field and the actual bracket. Keep in mind the catch weight of a thousand pounds, which is why we have one polar bear versus eight hyenas. Okay. All right. So how we do these things with me, Angel and Josh, we make our case, we vote, whatever the vote is, that's what goes on. We're going to start in the Steve Irwin region. Catch weight of a thousand pounds, one bison versus 10 kangaroos. What do you think wins Angel? I'm always going to go over multitude for the most part. Mm. So them kangaroos is about that. Have you seen their Italians? Have you seen their claws? <laughs> their Italians. Have you seen them? I've seen their Italians. What they do, kangaroos. <laughs> I didn't know this about kangaroos. They like to grab you and they kick you with the claws. I saw a good documentary called Kangaroo Jack. And it's got, <laughs> they got the pouches. So you don't even know what they might have on them. They might they have another one in there. It could be 10, could be 20, could be a blicky. Could be a know. blicky on them. It is definitely a blicky. They got them, and they got them muscles. You see how swole they look in their shoulders? <laughs> them, stro them, them look like the crip kangaroos that just got out. Yeah. Kangaroos are actually terrifying. But one yeah. bison, let him get a full head of steam. He won't. He only going to get one. Unless they all standing in the line. Kangaroos, they don't look smart, but I think they might be smarter than that. No, man. So I'm, what y'all saying? 10 kangaroos? I'm big, I'm big Roo. On Steve Irwin's grave, nigga, Big Roo over here. <laughs> big Roo. All right, next up is... Rest in peace, Steve Irwin. Four 
uh, I'm sorry, that's the bracket number four. 20 pit bulls versus one water buffalo. Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wraparoni, I believe. What y'all saying? Pit no, bulls. Pit bulls easy. Water of buffalo going to be like, if there's no water, I don't have no powers. Pits, especially a red zone pit, the ones that, you know, you can't rehabilitate. The red, what's it, red zone? They just black out. Yeah, the one, oh, y'all they didn't used to watch the dog whisper. Ah. Mm-mm. You said red zone? Oh, she's yeah. from Milan. Yeah. What's he's the got red a really, zone? He's got a really good podcast. He's amazing. It's just, so some pit bulls, yes, they have been bred to fight or bred to be aggressive. Mm. Some of them you can rehabilitate because that's not really what their nature got has it. to be. There are some that are just, you. they're not able to break that from them. Those are the ones that And these it. are the ones. Those yeah, are the ones you, get, it. you get them. They got it. The, the other thing about pit bulls, they be locking on. Now, he might get a couple of them pit bulls. I don't know if he getting 20 of them. Pit bulls are strong, man. I think man. it was red nose. Okay, well, maybe it's red nose. I thought Caesar was saying red zone that entire time. It's going to be right there, but but adjacent to whatever the thing Pedro is. Pedro said it, it is nose. Shake it God like a red dang nose. It. This entire time, I thought he was saying red zone. Because I thought the red zone is where they score 20 yard line to the end zone. No, I somewhere. thought red zone, you don't go in there. <laughs> Cause they gonna kill you. Uh, Look, I, I heard a blue nose pits, but I was like, I don't know red zone pits, but I'll be quiet because I, I was didn't like, know it had nothing to do with it. No, the red zone pits don't get on that twenty yard line. Ain't gonna be no field goals, nigga. Touchdowns only on the red zone. Red pits. nose, I am astonished. <laughs> Shake it like a red zone. Shake it like a red zone. All Look. right, so you and Josh oh, are no, saying pit bulls? Marcus said a red. It is red zone. Thank you. My husband's watching. Oh, red nose is a breed of pit bull. Red zone is oh, the they, behavior. Got it. They reached the red zone like, oh, I see his blood. I was like, I could have sworn that's what Caesar Milan was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus is a pit bullologist, so he actually knows. You know, we keep up. Yeah, red zone, understanding a red zone dog. That is that is the case. A red zone dog is a dog who have acted very aggressively towards people or other dogs. What we really need is not pit bulls. We need a hundred of the pit bull, the, the singer. Because oh. he'll be in a fight, and no. the water buffalo will be there. He'll but be like, Dolly. To Dale. distract the pit bulls, we just throw a bunch of hush puppies out. <laughs> That'll take care of them every time. Oh With some my pink sauce. I want to see a hundred pit bull, the rappers, trying to dance. He'll trick the water buffalo. He'll be like, ah, oh, man, I don't know how to kill you, man. Dolly. Ah, he got me again. All right, so y'all are both saying pit bulls? Uh, yes. Yeah, pit Red zone nose. All right, the next is 25. Honey badgers versus six warthogs. Hold on, I, I mean, see what a honey badger five looks like. Warthogs. I need to see intimidation factor. Uh, it's the six seed. How many war? How many? Uh, Twenty-five badgers? warthogs. I'm sorry. Them? Warthogs ain't a uh, pumba. No, they are aggressive and scary. They got and the and the little tusk is real. Oh, yeah. ain't no Lion King. They they out here finna kill you for real. Yeah. And they, they on Simba's on Mufasa's grave, and they move very crazy. Marcus said, "Listen, he is really into this." He said, "Nothing beats one honey badger." What is a honey badger? Now I know uh, <laughs> Teron Matthew. Oh my, I can just see him like, "No, guys, yes. if you put a honey badger, <laughs> honey badgers are hard to kill. It is time to feed." <laughs> Like, Honey badgers are notoriously hard to kill. They' supposed to be crazy. They' be like, "Nah, man, I ain't finna die." They're like the roaches of the badger world. I don't know. And they're super strong. They small, though. Honey badgers are soft, The man. honey badger is exceptionally tough, thick, and loose hide, specifically evolved to defend it against biting, clawing, and stinging. Six millimeter stinging. thick skin. What are they stinging with? They're not getting no, stung. They're not getting stung. They're, they're thick skin. Protects them from something. Oh, it's like it's like raw hide. A, a yeah. African porcupine quills can rarely penetrate a honey badger's skin. Put some respect on them honey badgers, cuz on they LSU. Fight lions. Honey badgers fight lions? Hogs? Six warthogs. I don't know, man. I be going, I might be going honey badgers. Why is this? I think we're going honey badgers, y'all. Warthog versus honey badger. I'm looking at these warthogs now. Oh they're yeah. fast. They're they're like they're like sleeper fast. They are. I'm going, I'm going honey badgers, y'all. I'm gonna go warthogs. What you going, Angel? I'm warthog? Going warthogs. It's up to you, Josh. I'm going for the hog, man. Hog! Hog it is. I'm out. All right. Eight hyenas versus five bucks. Ooh, hyenas. I don't like the word buck. It's very racist. <laughs> I don't want to say it all out. Here's the thing about our bucks. Uh, hyenas are 
Oh, bucks Violent. Are, bucks are like deers. Hyenas are yeah. crazy. A hyena. The fact that I couldn't, because of its, it is uh, use in slavery, I really did not know <laughs> what that animal looked like. But they got the horns, though, Angel. Yeah, hyenas. Uh, while one hyena, they first of all, hyenas are crafty. They put a plan. And they be laughing. That's why uh, Scar got with them, because he was like, y'all be having good and, plans. And what they do to him. Yeah, they and, and they killed him. They, they was had like, a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then it went dark on him. Period. They didn't show you, but it was implied. So they'll put one hyena in front of the buck. How many bucks is it? It's five bucks. And five two hundred pound bucks. Are they knucking? They're not knucking. They might be they bucking. Ready to I'm fight. Going, I'm they're going. ready. <laughs> That's so good. That was so good. How Josh, do we do this for a living, man? Josh. How do we do it? Good. Are the bucks knucking? Are they or are they Because not? if they're not knucking, if then they're definitely not bucking. Will yeah. the and if they're not knucking and bucking, they're not ready to fight. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. Not, are they knucking? I don't think so. They're not bucking? I, but they're I, not I, ready to fight. I don't know. I don't know if they're ready to fight. Yeah, I feel like they don't. They just be sitting down eating grass. They do, and they're going to be turned into grass by them and hyenas. hyenas are always acting up. Sorry, y'all. Hyenas are moving on. All right. The big boy region, one, uh, the one seed is two 500-pound tigers versus the eight seed, which is five 200-pound humans. Okay, we know what's happening. Oh, what? Do we get to have Unarmed. guns? Unarmed. Oh, I was like, do we get to have guns? I still was going to go with the tigers because <laughs> we would be scared and we ain't going to shoot right. We Unarmed just going to piss it off. All humans bring to this fight game is guns. And if you don't have that, we, we have not Right. Guns and sickness and poisoning water. If we're just punching, guns are one of the humans the Joe Exotic? No, because <laughs> then, then we I got. Just got I just got stipulations. I got to figure out. Did I got see Joe Exotic posted up in jail with two black dudes on the side. No, uh, he, he was, was posted up. Lord Jesus, <laughs> I feel as though unless we can build a cage really fast. <laughs> you might not even need two tigers. <laughs> one. one sleepy tiger. <laughs> We're a wrap. By the way, I was watching Chimp Empire on uh, Netflix over 4th of July. I, heard, I didn't know I chimps killed and ate monkeys. Monkeys are soft, man. They, They're tiny. They're out here getting waxed. They I eat said, them? They eat them. I they smack like the monkeys around, rip their little bodies Stop over. Stop talking about I it. Said, what, what, what did I not know about chimps? Are there not enough bananas in the world? They out here, no, nigga. I'm finna kill you. Michael Jackson's little monkey bubbles. Food, nigga. <laughs> Food, nigga. Yeah, I tried to rip monk a monkey for one of Marcus's birthdays. First, I tried. To, first, first, I tried to get a cat, like a, some sort of exotic cat, and then I was like monkeys, and I found somebody that was going to let me rent a monkey on Craigslist. And then when I saw the price, I said, "Well, these monkeys got to be dead." <laughs> They gonna let me rent a dead monkey. Hey, Joe. Chimps, <laughs> chimps are uh, they be jumping each other? They be killing they're, they're other blood in blood out. They're, they got it was the Western chimps versus the Central chimps. Oh, I don't this know. nigga Jackson was the leader. I don't know chimp politics. I'm bro, not chimp on. is serious business. They be like, bro, don't be over here by yourself. It could be whatever. And the nigga came by himself. It was like, oh, 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 and the monkey's like, see, nigga, he ate my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> be over there. I ain't coming. All Chimpy. right, so uh, two Tigers wins. Next up is 50 Tasmanian Devils versus 25 bob Bobcats. Mm, oh, Bobcat. I mean, Tasmanian. But how many Tasmanians? 50. Oh, well, Let me see how these look like in real life. I don't, I don't know much about them, but <laughs> like I've never really like. seen a real one. Oh, damn, they look crazy. All the pictures are, its oh, mouth is open. <laughs> Every oh, picture. they're in danger. They got a point. They got a point to prove. They're not doing this. They so little, though. Bobcats are big. Yeah, I seen a bobcat when I was hiking. That's why I don't work out no more. We saw a bobcat in our backyard. Tasmanian devils are shy and timid and not dangerous to people. They're out. Our We had a bobcat in our backyard, and that nigga looked like it was on steroids. <laughs> And it had the nerve to stop and look at my husband. I don't like big cats are big cats are they be known to kill. I, I still remember that one. That one that was moving like that. <laughs> I'll kill was, you down here by my baby. Yeah. He was walking on his back feet. I, <laughs> what move is that? He, he plays four 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 A A A. Uh uh. He was doing that uh what's that uh <laughs> what is that? He was doing Gangnam style. <laughs> <laughs> 
was like, no, nigga, you're doing line dances and you're scaring me. Somebody said to the wildcat noise. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> They give us money for this. Yes. They give us money for it. Wow. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right. So what do y'all say? Bobcats? Bobcats. Hell Bobcat. Yeah. Okay. Now we have, now this is my sleeper pick. 20 African wild dogs versus eight cassowaries. Now you might not know what a cassowary is because I, I didn't know. I didn't even know what like I was reading. I, I didn't know <laughs> how to We're spell it. We're heading over to cassowary. I didn't know what a cassowary was. I was like, nigga, what is this? A cassowary is like the most dangerous bird on the planet. Literally. They're descendants of velociraptors. Oh, they're huge. They're like crazy aggressive. Uh, that bird is out. Is insane. Cassowary. Cassowary. Like they're descendants of, 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 of velociraptors. Yeah, you can see it in their face. I've never seen this bird before. This bird. I've never heard I of it. I wouldn't want to. But wild dogs from Africa, I feel like African animals, they be out in the tundra, in the plains. They be got to be more violent. Uh, and 20, I don't know if uh, cassowaries are, are flightless, but I'm taking wild dogs. Dogs be crazy. I'm just not going to bet against Africa, period. They look so that's the reason why I'm going to go with wild dogs. Plus, the African wild dogs have the African angels. That are <laughs> that father was, was the name? Yeah, they got, tonga, tinga, the African <laughs> angels will be there with the African oh, dogs. Yeah. These yeah. African dogs, their ears, they're huge. They're like satellites. They could probably pick you up from yes. a quarter mile. And <laughs> you know, you seriously said quarter dogs. mile. The African wild dogs are two clicks out, and wild <laughs> dogs are bigger than regular dogs. <laughs> These are ugly. <laughs> Fifty oh. pounds. Yeah. They have a bite force of 317 PSI. Disgusting looking. All right. The end of this bracket. God made a mistake on them. One polar bear versus 100 house cats. Now, before y'all vote polar bear, Hold let on. me tell you what animal on this list ain't scared of nobody and done smacked every animal on here. House cats. <laughs> them house cats have slapped tigers, seals, snakes, dogs, other cats. House cats are not afraid of anything or anybody. And a hundred is a lot. They are afraid of aluminum foil. They're nigga. afraid of water. They do are afraid surrounded. of water. <laughs> Outside of foil, other animals, cats. Hold on. They're afraid of water, which is surrounded. They're afraid of I, things, yes. Other animals, they will. That's, skibbity that cat. Is, they oh, are scared. Can, that is their only bleed. fighting mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can't tussle with them, if you can just bite them and pick them up, they ain't got no other strategy. But it's a lot of house cats. How many? A hundred. That polar bear about to take all of them out. <laughs> Just be like, as thick as their skin bowl. is. Yeah, first of all, he can knock a couple away and knock them out. And <laughs> uh, it'd be different if you said wild, wild outdoor yeah. cats. A house cat, they are bougie. House cats got heart, though. They you got heart, little cats. I used to have two cats, Kizzy and... um. Kizzy and Mittens. And Mittens used to bring us dead birds and mice from outside all the time as gifts. It didn't bring you no cassowary. I know that. No, hell no. It didn't bring us no cassowary or no African wild dog. These <laughs> God made a mistake. Something I see happened. Cassowary. This must have been right before the right before he rested. He was just like <laughs> Wild dog. He was like, here. Because uh, these are the ugliest things I've ever seen. They're uglier than hyenas. All right. Other side of the bracket. This is the DMX region. Two 500 pound grizzly bears or eight, the eight seed, 200 rats. Uh, rats are vicious. Do they have rabies? No rabies. Oh, I'm going bears. Yeah. Because even I mean, if, if they had rabies, they'd be a little bit more lethal with like, once the rabies sat in. Especially if that <laughs> bear was on cocaine like it was in cocaine. Bear. Yeah, that's, that's slip Listen, some. man. Now, don't underestimate rats. They're rats huge. Disgusting. They're small huge. dogs in New York. They be not. They be ready to go for whatever, and it's a lot. If they all are attacking you at once, <laughs> they're all over you. Bears, bears, good with this, <laughs> but can a bear do this? You right. Bear can do can't. this. That's what I'm saying. But they on his back. He <laughs> would use a. He would use a tree. He just roll him. on them and they be dead. <laughs> Can a bear even reach this part of his back? No, Have you ever seen can't. a bear go like this? They can't. Like what, Gab? And go like this. I know, this. I was about to say, are you a bear? Because you barely did it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was kind of scared for a minute. I was about to say, you need to stop doing it with that bad shoulder, sir. Which, which borough are the rats from? New York. 
Which one? Brooklyn uh, the, or Bronx? The Brooklyn, the Bronx, half from Bronx, half from Brooklyn. And they <sighs> and they each got a point Those to Bronx prove. Rats, they, they might be. Marcus said rats can buy through 22 gauge metal. They Marcus can. is in, Marcus, he's uh, fully no. invested in this. First of all, this is his shit right here. He loves some animal stuff. We can sit and watch National Geographic and watch the like deadliest whatever and see who they're going to announce as the deadliest animal of some sort. He'll be in? I'm going to be in there with him, too. The rats yeah. could cook up something poisonous well, already for the bear, the too, though. They could like, cook. Like ratatouille? <laughs> I love it, Josh. Anyone can cook, man. I love it. I love it, Josh. So I'm saying the grizzly. I'm saying the rats. What are y'all saying? (sighs) I'm gonna go bear, man. I you made a good point about the bear not being able to reach, and we have talked about this. Rats can bite through metal, so they can bite through that. Upset alert. Also, it's two grizzlies. I I was only thinking of one. They might work together. Like, all right, I can't grab my back. You turn around. (laughs) You turn around. I think the bears would bears. do better with an animal that's a little bit bigger. I think the smallness the rats of the rats confuse them. Yeah, it's gonna make it difficult. Mm. That's what it's I. It's a saying. lot of rats. It is, but it's a bear. Bears ain't going down. A little bite ain't gonna put a bear away. No. A lot of bites ain't gonna put a bear away. Yeah. Big paws. <laughs> Hannah said rats will eat their eyes. <laughs> I think we're go. saying rats then. I'm yeah. I'm saying All right. rats. A hundred mongooses versus five rams. Okay, let me look at a mongoose. Mongoose be they be fighting snakes. Ricky Ticky Tabby was uh, a story about a snake and a mongoose. Five rams. Cram. Is this the twenty twenty one Rams or come on? This is the ones with Odell Beckham Jr. (laughs) This OBJ before the trader. This is OBJ Rams. How many Rams? Five. And how many mongooses? And a hundred mongooses. I'll put it on mongoose. Put on the geese. Mongooses. I Why like, won't they give me how you spell ram? Just regular. R- R- they keep giving me trucks. Like a oh, put ram, ram put, animal. That was having that like same a problem. Ram. Google's then, like the, the the ram animal is not paying us to be in the search, yeah, but, right. but, but Dodge Mount, is. Mountain ram. Yeah, that that well, SEO. It's only its main fighting mechanism is being able to push something at its <laughs> uh, pretty much at its height. Cram. It, it's not gonna. It's gonna knock itself out if it crams just into the floor. And they be cramming other rams. Are rams even carnivores though? Nah, they're they're um herbivores. Yeah, they be eating Soft. grass. Monkeys are are carnivores. I might. They fight snakes and they ain't afraid. All right, twenty five wolverines, the animals, or fifty raccoons. Annette. I'm glad you. It's Professor X like, present. I was like, no, wolverine taking whoever you got. It said how many? Uh, uh, wait a minute. It said how many wolverines? Twenty five. Let me look at what they look like. Of course they. Okay. Ooh, God, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't looked at some of these animals. Oh my goodness! And then how many? What? It was uh, fifty raccoons. These wolverines. Praise God, y'all. Wolverines are taking out Man. raccoons. Are soft. <laughs> All they do is stand up when you get close to them. Raccoons got the, they they don't they got their opposing thumb? Do they? Yeah, they do have opposable thumbs. So they could use a gun. I don't know. Raccoons, their biggest thing is like rabies and stuff. But just straight up fighting, I don't think they got no smoke for no wolverine. Wolverines you know, wolverine can get up to fifty five pounds. It looked like you. Yeah, so wolverines and they can run thirty miles per hour. Oh yeah, that's a wrap. Wolverine. All right, next is three silverback gorillas versus two hundred roosters. Three silverback gorillas. Them roosters is going to be Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Before the rotisserie. Oh, yeah. no, I mean, you, you wings now. What? They wouldn't even, the, the gorillas is gorillas. They wouldn't even get up. They would just sit and bite the heads off and have a blast. All right. Pigeon Man from Hain Arnold region. Four lions versus eight or I'm sorry, four lions versus 50 foxes. Okay, we know the answer. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, next up, wolves. Ten wolves versus five. We was wolves, huh? <laughs> Ten wolves versus five mountain lions. Ooh. Mountain freaking lions. Mountain lions are terrifying. Man, yes. they really are. You, you might as well say uh, actual Ooh. lion. But, but see, wolves... They be thinking together. And they know where they came from. Mm-hmm. They don't say we was dogs. 
Dogs say we was wolves. Right. What do mountain lions say? Or the big cat. We, we, we about to die. We are cats? Nah. Wolves going to be like, nah, brother, we ain't going to go out like that. We was wolves. We is wolves. <laughs> wolves are big, too. Them mountain lions is killing every single last one of them. Ooh! Mountain lions can't do that. That's why the wolves gonna be so loud about where they are. The mountain lions gonna be like, I know where that bitch is. I'm about to kill him right Hilarious. now. <laughs> Animal cussing is funny. <laughs> I'm saying wolves. You're saying mountain lions. Josh, you're the decider. Mountain lions. Y'all don't know anything. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sixty-seven golden eagles versus four gators. I mean, eagles, sixty-seven is just a funny number. For eagles. Spin. Eagles. I don't think, wow, how many crocodiles? How many? 67 eagles versus four gators. Four gators. Four alligators. They don't have good, uh, they have good close down strength. They don't have good open mouth strength. I'm going to say, yeah, because the, the, the birds can keep flying up. Yeah. The alligator's stuck. But how is an eagle going to kill a, a gator? It's going to get on its back and put its talus in it. Talons. Why are you adding these letters to this? How many? What is the word? Talon. Talon. You, you it's got, not talons. You adding talon and scallions. No, I thought it was talons. So it's talons. Talons. <laughs> All right. Learning so, we're so many new things today. Talons. Do the, do the chickens have large talons? That's how I remember it from Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Last one in this round: eight jaguars versus ten chimps. This is Ooh. easy. I seen a, a nature video where a jaguar pulled a crocodile out of the water by itself, one on one, and I just saw Chimp Empire. They was not. They was beating up monkeys and other <laughs> chimps. They was not beating up jaguar. But they'll get a gun and shoot it. They can don't they have, have no guns. guns. You've never seen. Pilot I know Dave's humans can. couldn't That's, have guns. That was. The <laughs> but can they almost can't. Ain't no guns in there. Okay, jaguars. All right, speed round for the rest because we gotta go quick. Kangaroos, pit bulls, go. Kangaroos. Ten ki- okay, y'all be okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> Warthogs versus hyenas. Go. Oh, I'm saying hyenas. Hyenas. Oh, yeah, hyenas, I guess. All right. Two tigers versus 25 bobcats. Oh, snap. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. That's cat on cat crime. <laughs> bobcats are gonna win. Bobcats are gonna win. You it's just a feet? sheer amount of them. I yeah, think so. and they it's a cat against cat, muscular cats. Of course, a bunch of, of Bob lions. Bob, what do we? Bobcats are going. Bob lions. Bob, Bob lions. They just run out of steam. Bob lions. <laughs> She's just throwing up. <laughs> I am. I have been working you since five forty-five you're doing your this best. morning. Uh, there's gonna be a couple of bobcats that's gonna die. Okay. But, but they gonna win the battle. All right. Wild dogs versus polar bears. One polar bear versus twenty wild dogs. Dogs. The African wild dogs. The polar bears ones? got claws. The African wild dogs, right? Yes. Oh yeah, them them African, <laughs> them Africans is gonna. I'm take saying it polar down. bears. Josh, it's up to you. Damn. He's like, I was hoping you would forget. Um, twenty five. <laughs> Those dogs. Twenty 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 wild dogs versus 20 one polar bear. Wild dogs, one polar bear. That, that, that polar, polar bear like, might not even know what hit him. Yeah, they coming <laughs> in. <laughs> And and which <laughs> who's got who's got a home court advantage? They in the they in the grass. They are not in the ice. Oh, polar bear won't stand a chance. Now, if it was a panda bear, panda like Kung Fu panda. So you saying dogs? <laughs> I'm gonna say the dogs. Gra. The pandas also have designer saying music for this. Yes. <laughs> panda, panda, panda. All right, rats versus mongoose. It's two hundred rats versus one hundred mongoose. The mongoose are the birds that look ugly. No, them is they look kind of like rats. The mongooses are Ricky Tiki Tavi. They fight the snakes. They big and ugly. Hold on, I got. They're not big. Again. What's the number count again? A hundred mongooses versus two hundred rats. Damn. I guess plural would be reets. That's a two to one ratio. Two. Oh, and the rats way- are much better when they it's two hundred on one or two, mm-hmm. but two hundred on one that's two rats of each mongoose. But these mongoose are vicious. They are mongoose is crazy. They fight snakes. I'm yeah. going mongoose. Me, I think the mongoose can. Uh, and take they're fast. Their and they're fast. Oh, hell yeah! All right, twenty five wolverines versus three silverback gorillas. Dang, I'm saying gorillas on Glorilla. Hallelujah. And them wolverines about to kill only two gorillas. Three. Three and twenty five. And twenty five wolverines. Gorillas, they're agile. They're smack, smack, climb, climb. You thought you had me punch, punch, climb, climb. 
Mm, I feel like I need to call my husband Wolverine Animal. Let me look at it one more time. Three Geralds. Wolverines. It's up to you, Joshy. Oh, man. Wolverines. Wolverines. Oh, Marcus said mongoose hut rats. See? There you go. Bang, bang. All right. Four lions versus five (laughs) mountain lions. Four lions versus five. The lions. Regular lions. (laughs) Eagles versus jaguars. Jaguars. Get eagles out of here. Jaguars. All right. We're almost done. The Elite Eight. Kangaroos, which is 10 versus eight hyenas. Mm. Mm. I think based on numbers, I'm still going to have to go with the, the kangaroos. I'm I going agree. hyenas, man. I agree with hyenas kangaroos. are a two seed. They go fight lions. Yeah, but they think that they they only got um their mouth. But it's real. eight on t- kangaroos got a catch. In, in, they I got hands know. and feet. And tails. In tails, kangaroos the, use their tails to the prop themselves up to stab really you. Really, only the its mouth. Yeah, it'll claw claw you, but it's the mouth that they use to kill the hyenas. Yeah, yeah. yeah we don't know if they, but they jump in. Ah, neck gone. That thing already jumped. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, kangaroos whole thing. Yeah. So y'all saying kangaroos? The yeah. ruse. I'm getting outvoted. All right, bobcats versus wild dogs. Twenty wild dogs and twenty five bobcats. Bobcats Ooh. is killing them ugly wow, wow, ass dogs. Wow, wow. Versus woof woof woof. Wow, wow, wow. That's what that thing is doing. Wild dogs for me. The oh, motherland. I don't. I'll never pick a dog over a cat. That's true, and they're big cats too. These big That's ass these cats. <laughs> Those cats are crazy, man. I'm gonna go with the cats. Going cats. Mm-hmm. Bobcats. All right. Mongeese. A hundred mongeese versus twenty five wolverines. Wolverines, man. Come on. Get these mongies out of here. They're not making it to the final four. Yeah, Wolverines. <clears throat> what you say, Angel? Yeah, the same. All right. Four lions versus eight jaguars. <clears throat> mm. Them lions is still. They, I they, think the lions yeah, got to go. Them niggas ain't the king of the jungle Beat because the of awful hearsay. Yeah. yeah. Ain't jaguars ain't king of the jungle. Absolutely. They're the king of sports cars. Yeah. Lions ain't got no sports car because we I'm kill for jaguar. real. They make a really nice one. I seen a, a emerald one. Oh this my next god! For you. Final four: <laughs> kangaroos versus bobcats, wolverines versus lions. What do you got? Kangaroos versus bobcats. How many? How many? Ten kangaroos versus twenty-five bobcats. Them kangaroos is dead. Finally, oh, yeah, they're dead. Those bobcats. Cooked. All right, wolverines. You got twenty-five versus four lions. Wow, I'm. I don't. I don't see twenty five Wolverines beating four lions. Lions are lions massive. Are fast. They are strong. Yeah. They have Disney marketing behind you're right, them. You're right. You're right. You're Jaguars right. Jaguars still ain't got no move because they ain't. They ain't enough. They do have Jaguar Paul, which was a great movie. And and or, uh, no, lions have DJ Khaled. Apocalypse. Wolverines Apocalypse. Got are, Wolverines are mutants. They are, but this ain't them. This. <laughs> <laughs> so now lions. we got the final. The championship Lion. is Bobcats versus Lions. It is, it is uh, twenty five Bobcats. Bobcats versus four Lions. The cat versus cat. Big cat, big cat. I, I would think that this that everybody's gonna be dead in the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> they get a week off to rest. They don't have to do. They don't have to keep fighting. It's four new lions every time. <laughs> Whatever the animal is, they no, got I'm fresh ones for each them round. Fighting together, that one round, the lions <laughs> and the bobcats. Everybody's gonna be dead. I'm going lion of Judah. <laughs> I'm going lions too. The lions have won. The here's the thing. Jenkins and Jones Beast Battle Bracket. Thank you guys for indulging us. If you're still watching this, you don't have nothing else to do either. We love y'all. We enjoy y'all. Thank y'all so much for spending time with us. Amen. We'll see you when we see you. Peace. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. Uh, uh, uh.
With my boy Kev on stage, that thing. And that chick angel.